to um, Warren Vogel was just talking about how he really kept your team in. Huh? Can you talk about the mentality maybe when you know the guys don't have it? And is, is there like a challenge for yourself to keep your team in it? Yeah, uh, I think that's why us goalies love, uh, love to play the game. I think moments like that where you're, you're able to come up with a couple of big saves and keep your, uh, keep your team in it. A uh, big part of our job is just being able to give our team a chance to win. Um, I think I did that for, uh, for a couple of periods, and then in the third period, we just kind of we took it home. So uh, it's really, really good pushback by our group. What you guys, happens in the third period? If you haven't lost the third period in this entire streak, then the goals falling against are, are a bit ridiculous. What, what happens if gear gets shifted with this group? Yeah, I think, I think it's just kind of been uh, a lot of work going into the third period, uh, especially when we're in these tight games. Uh, we know what's on the line for us. Uh, every point's massive, uh, and we know that. And going into the third periods, it's been really, we've been either down one or up one. So, um, yeah, just critical periods, and, and uh, that's when we love to come out and, and shine. Franchise record uh, for you, 11 straight wins for a goaltender. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It's... It's. Uh, I was feeling a lot of emotion, especially when I went out on the ice for uh, for the first star there, just because it's pretty cool being able to break break a record from one of the best goalies to ever ever live. So um, obviously a guy that I look up to, a guy that I've talked to, and he's just one of the best. So um, yeah, I'm very very fortunate to be uh, to be able to break it. You were born when he was playing. What do you know about him? What what's your relationship in any way? Your dad watch him. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think our whole family's probably, my, my whole family's probably watched him. Um, I've watched every single YouTube video possible on him, uh, from his interviews to, uh, to his incredible saves. Um, obviously, it's really cool what he did uh, for this organization. I mean, he's one of the best to ever play the game again, Hall of Famer, as he should be. So um, it's, uh, it's a very cool feeling. What's it like for a modern goaltender to watch the way that Grant played back in the day? The two styles, yeah. so it's such a contrast, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just it it is pretty wild uh, to see how they how they play it. I mean, they're like what I think about is how heavy their gear would have been and uh, being you know getting shots in the collarbone. They didn't have like too too much protection. The mask that they wore it's, uh, it takes a lot of guts to to do what they did, um, especially at that time. But uh, especially for Grant, watching him, watching all those videos that I've been able to watch, um, knowing him personally, he's just such a competitor. Uh, and, and I mean, you, you saw that in uh, when they won the cup, when they uh, just when he was always playing. So um, pretty cool. We see you guys, you and Vinny, do the high five yeah. at the end of every game. What's the origin story to that? Uh, started back in Wichita when we played in uh, the ECHL. Um, and yeah, it was just kind of a moment where uh, him and I are very tight, obviously, because we were able to kind of move our way up to, sorry about that, <laughs> sorry, uh, from the coast to the American League to the NHL. So um, just something that we love to do. Uh, obviously, we're incredible friends, um, and we love to celebrate uh, the wins when we can. Steve, you've been asked a lot about your streak here, but it isn't just a streak. You've been going on a couple months, a really solid play from you. What's it been like for you the last couple months? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, there's every single game so different, right? There's uh, there's games where it's been tight, games where uh, we kind of take over, games where other teams take over. So uh, it's just been a lot of uh, a lot of resilience from our group. Um, you know, going off the street, going off my play, going off everybody's play. It's been it's been pretty amazing to watch this group uh, uh, work to where we are today. Uh, at the same time, we have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, we're kind of in the middle middle part, and there's. There's a lot of work to be done, so it's it's uh, up to us to, to keep moving forward here. There were a lot of struggles for everyone early on. I know you talked about your play and sometimes feeling okay about it, sometimes not. Did you really feel like there was a turning point, or can you pinpoint a turning point for you this year? Where uh, you couldn't really pinpoint it. Uh, I think it's just, uh, again, I like I, I've said it a few times, but just the resili resiliency from all of us. Um, you know, it, it starts with everybody in this dressing room. Um, yeah, you know, when starts like that happen, uh, it's up to the guys whether we're how we're going to react to it and uh, being able to show kind of what we're doing, being, being able to win close games, uh, being able to fight, battle, grind every single night. It's it's uh, it's fun to be a part of. Does this workload suit you? I mean, it seems to suit you, but do you like I love it, yeah. I'd, I'd play every game if I could. <laughs> this is not an easy place to be a struggling goaltender. So were there times when you were alone thinking, no, this, is, this ain't going good? Uh, I mean, yeah, there, there's, I mean, you, you never want to do bad no matter where you are. Um, I mean, obviously being a, from a hometown kid, it's something that I've dreamed of. So 
uh, like I said last time, it's a very fortunate position to, to struggle in a, a great city like this um, and to be able to struggle playing in the NHL. Um, so it's, uh, there's ups, there's downs. That's uh, part of life. Uh, it's going to happen uh, until my last day. So um, it's up to me to how I respond to it um, and just keep on working, keep on moving forward. You're only a second-year NHL goalie, and your level of your play in the last couple of months has been very, very high. How good can it get here? How, you know, how good can you be? I'm hoping a lot better. Um, I think uh, for me, it's a lot about just growing. Um, you know, obviously, we all love the game. Our jobs is to keep on getting better every single day. Um, uh, I'm hoping that I have a lot of years left, and there's a lot of growth for me to have. There, I, I learned. Uh, very valuable lesson after that first goal um, and just going to keep on doing that. So sky's the limit, as uh, we like to say, but um, I got to keep on uh, I got to keep on working on my craft.